Hello everyone, this is part two of the ANSYS Fluent simulation tutorial. We have here the workbench, we have the package, flow package with Fluent and Fluent as uh, element uh, without the uh, additional programs. We'll be dragging here the package. Uh, the package will include the geometry program, the meshing program and the Fluent uh, software. Okay, first we will be renaming it to LPG burner will be simulating using a species transport model okay now we click on the first program the geometry it will open in separate window here we can create our own geometry but we will be importing a ready geometry we did last time in part one using uh, solid work native geometry parasolid uh, generate okay we can see here it is uh, a solid so we have to change rename first to fluid then we change in the setting also to fluid generate okay now we go back to the main window the workbench uh, we can see it is checked already means it is updated otherwise you have to go back and update it again now we can go and check the uh, meshing tool it will open also in separate window okay we can see it is recognized as uh, fluid it is transparent we'll be naming the boundary condition uh, to be used in fluent first the outer wall then second boundary is the outlet okay then third boundary is the air inlet and finally I have to zoom in a bit uh, it's quite small area this is the fuel inlet zoom further okay now if you click here you can find many layers down you can choose different layers for different places okay so this is the fuel inlet okay now we, we can check our name selection and make sure that we don't have any mistake for example this is the fuel inlet in red color now the meshing we can see here so many uh, default options uh, you can change actually between course medium and fine settings uh, previously we had to do that manually in gambit software the default uh, options here are quite okay here I, I will be only changing the minimum size uh, of the element to 3 mm instead of less than 1 mm I don't want to have so many uh, elements to slow down the simulation okay now we generate the mesh it will take some time okay now the uh, the mesh is generated already we can he see here some statistics uh, main thing is the quality of the element we have around 300,000 element okay now we can see it is ranging from 0.2 to 1 actually 0 means uh, no quality at all it cannot be simulated and the highest is 100 percent we have here 95 and 90 most of the elements are concentrated uh, in about 90 percent quality we can press here and see uh, the elements in the picture above and this is the 90 percent uh, you can see the number of elements here in the checkbox this is 95 percent the lowest is around 0 0.25 25 percent uh, it's quite few uh, it's not effective it depends where where is the uh, bad uh, elements the location of the bad elements whether they will affect your simulation or not okay now we update the meshing tool and go back to the workbench okay uh, stay tuned for part three we will be uh, using simulation uh, with fluent for uh, species transport. Thank you.